One of the most commonly asked questions I always get in my Instagram DMs or just in general is how long does it actually take for a product to become a winning product on Google Ads? So essentially, how long does Google Ads itself and its algorithm take to identify a winner versus a loser? And the answer to that question is actually very interesting and not exactly what you might be thinking. So in this video, I'm not only going to be answering that question, but also be showing you how the different products react differently in Google. Google's ecosystem and how they're basically made winners or losers. So in order to first understand how long it really takes Google Ads to show any kinds of results with any given product, it's important to actually understand what kind of winning product types there even are. And I like to think of winning products as segregated into three different categories. Category number one, it's called the seasonal winning product. Category number two, it's called the evergreen product. And category number three is called the growing winner product. Product. And it doesn't really matter what kind of niche store you run or if you're a high ticket store or a low ticket store. Now I've been running Google Ads for such a long time. I've had the opportunity to work with different kinds of stores, both personal brands as well as clients under my Google Ads agency, Euro Marketing, which if you're currently doing $30,000 or more per month in revenue, you need a little bit of extra help scaling to the next level. Go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can possibly grow together and make that happen. But regardless of the niche or whatever the case might be every e-commerce brand has these three types of products period so the thing really that you need to understand is depending on what type of product you have what category it falls under it's gonna react differently with Google and Google Ads is gonna take a little bit of different time for it to be a product that actually ends up selling on your e-commerce brand now keep in mind without a good product none of this matters it's just not gonna sell period and unfortunately whoever said that you can actually sell a rock if people want it didn't really consider a Google Ads because while it is true that you can sell a rock with Google Ads even if you were to sell a rock people have the opportunity to compare your rock with 50 other rocks a hundred other rock especially with Google Shopping what do you see so for example if we go on and bring a little bit of a more realistic example like 3d printer and we type it up on Google we see that along with your possible listing right here there's 50 other competitors literally side by side so keeping that in mind it's a little bit different different as to how Google Ads performs and it is true that you cannot sell everything that you want to sell with Google Ads because there are limitations to it. But at the end of the day, product is king. If you don't have the right product, it's just not going to work, period. So let's now go inside my actual campaign for my own e-commerce brand and look at all time data to see exactly some of my winning products, how they were and so on and so forth. So let's start off with the first kind of winning product type, which is the basically seasonal product. And this product that I have pulled up on my screen, it's a full on seasonal product product and if we look it had this time period right here it started selling essentially in the first quarter of 2020 and it basically died out in second quarter and end of second quarter of 2020 so now if we look at 2020 right here look at it maybe on a little bit of a granular level so let's change the time period from just all time to january 2020 all the way to basically june 30th or maybe even let's do uh, august 30th right here so august 31st and let's look at how this product performs so as you can see this product actually is a full on air conditioner so if you see right here you might only be able to see the image because all of the other information is pretty much blurred out so air conditioners what you know if you look at the keyword search volume which we're going to do very shortly, you'll be able to see that the overall keyword search volume, it starts to peak up tremendously during the months of June, July, August. And two months prior to that, it's already starting to peak up. And then after July, it just starts to basically drop down like a sinking ship. But going on over to the keyword planner tool right here, let's take a little bit of a closer look even at the keywords that pop up. So let's do portable air conditioner and make sure to spell it right, right there. So portable air conditioner. And again, Again, if it's not spelled correctly, it's not going to really lead you to the right kind of results. So portable air conditioner changed the time frame to maybe let's do last 24 months. And it's going to be the same month every year because that's how seasonal products are. If you see right here, it starts to take off in end of February, early March. It goes all the way up and then it starts to come back down basically after the peak of June. So this is when it's a losing product. This is when it's a winning product. And if we look back at what happened, it essentially just became a winner overnight, basically in the month of May. So I had this product 
product for quite some time. I didn't necessarily add it right here. I already had this product in January and February because at that time when I was running this product, I knew that the best way to get results with an air conditioner would be to come in early because I had already seen this. I had seen that it starts to go up. So that's what I had done. But even then, it started to sell on May 24th. And as you can see, on that day, all of a sudden, it spent $166 on the first day without doing anything else. The previous day, it was $0 and all of a sudden, $166. The next day, $800. So all of a sudden, this product went from being basically nothing to being a winning product. And if you look at the ROAS on that day that I spent $166, it was 5X ROAS. And the day I spent about $800, I made back $4,800 in revenue. It went from $0 to $5,000 in a matter of two days. That's how quick winning products that are seasonal can actually end up being winning products. But as you see, it was kind of short lived because by this time period, so end of August, it was already starting to be a losing product. If we look at the ROAS, it had already started to drop. So this time period when it was successful, it was a very short time period. And this number right here, it's not fully accurate because once I found out that it was a big, massive winner, I started more campaigns. So this is only one of the campaigns that I started compared to the other campaigns I also had running. But that's essentially how long it takes for Google Ads to find a real winning product that's a seasonal product. Literally one day it can go Go from zero to over hundreds and hundreds of sales and even thousands of dollars in revenue but keep in mind this could have been done much earlier if i had dedicated an entire campaign just for air conditioners or just for that seasonal product simply because the campaign it's running within right now it's a general testing campaign the same campaign i always recommend on my youtube channel as well as my google ads mastery course but essentially this has hundreds of other products that's why it might have taken google a bit of a longer time to actually confirm if this was a winning product or not but that's how essentially winning products are regardless of how you do it once it starts to sell it's gonna sell like hot cakes but keep in mind it will come crashing down just as fast like it did right here but that's product type number one let's move on now to the evergreen product how long does it take an evergreen product to actually become an evergreen product so to show you an example of what an evergreen product looks like right here i'm gonna take you right over to one of the products which i've already kind of released on my channel so the evergreen product that i'm referring to is this one right here it was essentially a chainsaw sawmill and it had its own peak as well and then it dipped basically just as fast but if we now take a closer look from the third quarter of 2020 so let's go ahead and look at that so let's essentially say september 1st of 2020 all the way up until maybe february of 2021 so if we look at this time period we can see that this evergreen product i had actually added this in the earlier months of september so essentially it was actually not even september it was like september or late august that i had found this product while doing my product research methods and i decided to release it on my store so i made sure my landing page was properly set up and everything else was basically as good as possible and then all i did is just let it sit within my general testing campaign and eventually my campaign got to it and now because this product already i knew it was in demand because if we look at the keyword search volume the main keyword for that product during that time was sawmill so if we look at that right here that's what it essentially says and if we look at the overall search volume we can see that there was a little bit of a peak during that time but overall very evergreen very consistent when a product is consistent like this we call it evergreen so that's essentially what it was right here but again with the evergreen product all of a sudden it spent two dollars on uh one october of the fourth of october essentially on 2020 october 11th which is looking at it at a weekly basis it was actually spending about a hundred dollars so this is when things kind of took a little bit of more of a gradual turn upwards it didn't all of a sudden like the last air conditioner go up all of a sudden so essentially it was a slower kind of climb upwards it took about two weeks so from beginning of october all the way until end of october or middle of october when things really took off and by this time period if we look at the overall row as it was starting to become very steady you know things were looking good it was on the increase upwards and as we can see now the conversion value was already there almost doing a thousand dollars a day during this time period but it took me a little bit of a longer time maybe a month and a half to cross that thousand dollar mark on just this product but by that time period i had other chains saw sawmills already on my website so this is just one variation there's multiple different variations i was selling during this time and as a result all of them were getting sales but this is again just one of them regardless it was very profitable you know during that time it was very consistent that's what i wanted and that's exactly how an evergreen product works so with evergreen products you might be thinking how long does google ads really take then so in my experience based on this product and a lot of other products it takes anywhere from about 15 days 20 days to maybe even two months for that evergreen product 
to actually start getting enough traction for your campaign to actually start spending money on it unless you already started a brand new campaign just for that evergreen product in that case it's going to be pretty immediate but if you're following me if you're following my strategies if it's within the general testing campaign it will take a little bit of a longer time but that doesn't matter because as you can see it can provide you a lot of profitable results i mean it got me 113 sales just with one variation and this number is not fully accurate because i started standalone campaigns for this product variation i started some smart shopping so it's kind of scattered throughout i've released a video on this product on my channel as well as on my twitter i've made a post on it so you can check that out and follow me on twitter it's at ecom Shree. but overall evergreen products the main thing that you want to understand is they might be a little bit of a slower pace to become winners but once they become winners they are very very steady and this brings me to the last kind of product on the list which is the growers product now the growers product is the product where essentially it's growing in demand so if we now kind of look through and look at what product was actually a growing product let me just go ahead and find that really quick and it's actually within this campaign right here which is a standalone campaign as you can see no products are available right now within this campaign because this was unfortunately deleted from my store but this was the oxygen concentrator machine as you see right here a photo of and if we go on to google and we just type in oxygen concentrator we can see exactly what i mean when i say a growing product so i classify this as a growing product because when i found this product which was during 2020 when we were all locked inside and obviously there were some things going on during that time period that was when it was really a winning product for me and if we look at just that time period alone so from january of 2020 all the way essentially to the end of 2020 we can see exactly what was happening with that product so in majority of the months the overall search demand for that product was increasing and by the way i found this product early in january hence why i was able to really scale it to the next level and as you can see from january all the way up to may is when i was scaling this product with this campaign of course for this as well i had other campaigns running but now let's take a little bit of a closer look at this campaign to see exactly how things were right here so january all the way up to may 31st and we can see what was going on so looking at it on a daily basis we can see how fast this growing product ended up being a winning product for me and by the way this product was already starting to sell for me late january but i started this standalone campaign late february so essentially what happened was initially it got a slower start to it as you can see it was only spending about 20 dollars a day 30 even and then slowly as this campaign started to become smarter the algorithm started to understand what the right kind of audience was for this because with standalone campaigns it's a little bit of a different story compared to a general testing campaign things really started to take off i mean there was this little curve upwards where the cost just went through the roof i was getting a 28x roas and if we change the conversion value over cost metric over to just conversion value we can see that during that time period daily i was doing about two thousand five hundred dollars six thousand dollars even just from one day to the next twenty five hundred all the way up to six thousand so that's pretty insane but that's what happens with growing products as the search demand is growing right here that's essentially what was happening i mean there was a 93 percent increase in the search demand for this product that's what led me to know that this was going to be a very good product for me and the results proved it i mean again this was just one campaign alone but it just went crazy right after launch and that's what you should be expecting with a grower type of product essentially in the beginning of the phase it might start off slow especially in the beginning of this growth phase because again people are just starting to search for it more and more often there might already be new competitors entering the market so google might take a little bit of extra time for you to actually end up ranking in the front and again if you don't follow my techniques you're not going to even rank in the front because you're going to end up having a very low ad rank and quality score for your shopping as well as search campaigns but if you follow everything like i tell you to you have proper seo techniques your images are on point and so on and so forth and that's when you can get exponential growth once things start to work but in the beginning it's not exactly how you want it to be it's not going to be all rainbows and sunshines it's going to be very slow for a growth product depending on when you even add it so if you added it right here before january if you look at it further we can see that there was not really too big of a demand in fact it was going down even during that time period but then it started to increase as we started to get stuck in our homes and so on and so forth and that's really what caused this kind of to go up and the beauty about the product like this is as long as you continue to optimize further as long as you continue to make changes you are going to stay in the top which means you are going to get consistent sales however with this campaign it did die down after a while because i started new campaigns i started testing more and so on and so forth but that's essentially what you should be expecting with a growth related product but those are the three main phases seasonal evergreen and growth related products and that's how long google ads really takes for you to get results with each kind of product type again it's less about the product and more about which category it falls under but 
regardless make sure you're always following the right techniques you're focused on the back end because without that any of this is relevant and these things by the way apply to any e-commerce brand out there even my own e-commerce brands as well as my clients e-commerce brands under my google ads agency euro marketing which if you're currently doing thirty thousand dollars or more per month in revenue you need a little bit of extra help scaling to the next level with google ads go on to my website at euromarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can possibly work together and make that happen but if you found any type of value in this video drop a like subscribe if you haven't and watch any of these two videos that might help you with your google ads journey and i will see you in my next video